Let's take a quick tour of the chat GPT interface, starting in the upper left corner. There's the new chat button, and we'll talk more about the new chat button in a later lesson. Then next to chat GPT 3.5 is a little menu that shows me that I'm currently using GPT point, excuse me, GPT 3.5, and it gives me the opportunity to upgrade for a price to GPT-4. And then going down to the lower right corner, there's a question mark. If I click on that, I've got help and frequently asked questions, release notes, terms and policies, and keyboard shortcuts. In the very middle of the screen, it's just asking me, how can I help you today? And that sort of looks like a button, but it doesn't do anything. And then down at the bottom of the screen, they have uh, example prompts. And these example prompts are always changing. And then there's a box for typing your message to chat GPT. Lower left corner, if I click on my name, I will see custom instructions, settings, and log out. And we'll talk more about custom instructions and settings in a later lesson. And then back up near the top left-hand corner, I see my chat log. And I'll talk more about the chat log in a later lesson.